Life ime ni funza toko familia Matusi zenu nazisikiza natulia Wanao mind about you bro mi familia Mashida zangu na kumbuka ni nalia Wana wake and chase the paper yeah, Kita turamba kwa kiingereza kutakusema anji <laughs> Salama sana Kwanza kabisa unaito nani? Ibutu ambeji na laku kamili Mimi jina kamili naito ambivyo na ukindo mm-hmm. Jina la usani ni Bista 7K official mm-hmm. eh, so tunakuja kwa mambo na usani. Unajua usani ni kitu ambacho siku hizi nasaidia watu. Eh? Hebu tuambie kwanza unaimba ngoma type gani ya ngoma zako ni gani aswa. Mimi nili specialize in gospel mm. and bongo music actually. Mm-hmm. That's where I do better 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 better. You do gospel and bongo. Yes. Okay so naweza kuanza na hii ndio kutia muhimu sana kwa usani. Unajua usani pia ni gharama na usani kuna challenges zake. Aswa sio unaweza tuambia Bivon umepitia challenges gani kwa hiyo usani yako kuanza hadi sasa hivi penye umefika because challenges lazima zikuwe kwa usani. Challenges nazo ni mingi kawaida. Challenges ni mingi, challenges ni mingi. Mm-hmm. Eh, before mtu atoke kwa ground hadi afike majuu, mm-hmm. mtu pitia mingi sana. Mm-hmm. Mingi. Kwanza mostly unakosa doza session. Mm-hmm. Pia doza kujianzilisha we mwenyewe unaweza kuwa toa audio kali, mm-hmm. video una hata ngoza kuvaa unaona. <coughs> Vitu ni mingi. Hata transport ya kufika pale site kwenye unaenda kushotiwa hiyo video inakuwa ngori. Mm-hmm. So mostly ni kujituma mm-hmm. unapiga hustle mm-hmm. ndio ikija vizuri mm-hmm. unakuja na record ngoma mm-hmm. unasakaza video maybe tena mm-hmm. ndio unaweza na hivyo hivyo ya alafu kitu kingine tuseme kwamba hapo kwa maybe kwa support umepata support ya watu kutoka kwa msanii wa kisi ama msanii yote ambaye amesema acha nikushike mkono maybe amekuona pale akasema wewe jamaa anafanya kazi safi umeweza kupata support yote pale ni nini ama mimi mwenyewe ikifika hapo kwa kuuliza support mm-hmm. sijapenda sana kuuliza support kwa sababu yeah. mimi mwenyewe naweza grow independent mm-hmm. kama wao wame make it mm-hmm. so pia mimi nita make it mm-hmm. nita grow too independently uh, for the start ngoma ambayo ni release lakini sijaitoa video mm-hmm. uh, video itatoka very soon so, very soon actually <coughs> hata miezi tatu azija azitaisha mm-hmm. so video hiyo ngoma ilipata positive feedback sana na watu walipenda. Mm. So mimi nikiangalia mm. hivyo ndivyo nataka. Tuna mm. muziki mm. kila mtu vile unataka pole pole tu. Mm. Ni vizuri kama utaulizia support ukipata ni sawa. Mm. Lakini pesi ya kila mtu ni different, unaona? Mm. Mimi naweza kuwa nikitaka ku, kuomba usaidizi lakini naona hiyo si si mzuri kwa mtu. Mm. So unasema like unapenda kukuwa independent, unataka kupata hizi makolabo ama support toka kwa msanii wote. Kisupport na maanisha maybe labda tuseme mm-hmm. ungetaka maybe ku huyu jamaa kusupport kwa pesa, mm-hmm. aseme like I want to invest kwa muziki yako. Even apart from musician, we have other people investors who can say acha tu kuinvest kwa wako tukiona matunda itakuwa poa kwa industry ya muziki. Hiyo umeweza kupata popote? Hiyo nimeweza kupata mm-hmm. mostly kwa producer wangu. Mm-hmm. Producer wangu amekuwa akisikiza ngoma zangu sana. Na namshukuru sana kwa sababu yeye mwenyewe aliniambia mm. wewe hapa kwa kurapa uwezi yeah. kitu ungefanya unge specialize kwa bongo mm. na gospel mm. hapo ndo nasikia vocals zako zinaingia vizuri mm. na kwa yeah, yeah. style zaidi yeah. so nikasema actually nitafanya hivyo na pia kaniambia mm. naweza kukushika mkono sana mm-hmm. na wewe naweza kusupport mm kama ndugu yangu kama brother yangu kabisa mm. so hiyo sitaichukulia kama kusupportiwa ili ya kuomba collab mm. mwanzo nitaichukulia kama Mm-hmm. alinichukua kama manager unaona yeah. hiyo sasa nitaiweka kwa position ya manager sasa hiyo ni position ya collab ya collab ama msanii mkubwa mm-hmm. yes ndio ni msanii mkubwa lakini sasa alinichukua kwa kama manager wangu mm-hmm. na mimi namshukuru sana kwa hilo mm-hmm. yeah. alafu kitu kingine ambayo mostly ningeulizia you know kwa hii industry mm-hmm. ya especially ya muziki kuna more challenges especially tukuja kwa mambo na competition mm-hmm. wewe kama from the area of Kisi tunatoka sasa hivi umepata competition gani ambayo inakuonyesha eh hey, nikiimba hivi naona kama bado tutapatana na mtu fulani ya kupali fulani like tuseme kama unasema kama for example wewe sasa unafanya bongo mm. najua bongo ni big industry yes. bongo inaangalia mambo na masuala ya watu wengi do especially bongo kuna Kiswahili ndani yake do uweze hujafanya kikisi sana maybe kwa ulifanya umefanya kidogo ndio unasema uliingia kwa bongo direct so hii bongo kipige hesabu kwa wewe competition gani umeona hapa kisi ukifanya bongo compared maybe na mtu anaimba kikisi kwa kikisi sasa hapo kwa kikisi in okay in Gusiland mm. tuko na Gusi Urban ndio yeah. kuwa na Gusi Urban it has a very big challenge because mm. 
only the kisi people ndo watashika hiyo slang yeah, yeah, unaona yeah, ya kisi of course but uk specialize in swahili mm. someone in burundi tz mm, yeah. uganda mostly mm. hadi watu ambao wako nje unajua sasa hii US wanajifunza kiswahili yeah. unaona yeah. alafu pia ukipata from the other side mm-hmm kisi ndani yote utakumesha wateka kabisa Kenya mzima umeteka mm. East Africa sana hiyo slang hiyo yeah. slang inafunga chini si kama ya kijaluo unaona kijaluo mm. mtu akimba hiyo ni nini ya kijaluo mm. huwa hiyo slang inambeba sana ina inampeleka majuu mm. lakini sasa ukipata ni kikisi kikisi itakupea some trouble some itaku, so, itakupunguza sana na ma, ina maana kwamba kwa hii muziki ukimba Kiswahili na ina bongo hii kuna big chance ya kuweza kufanya market yako iko kubwa like wasanii toka nje watakusikiliza compared na kikisi because kikisi maybe ni kisi pekee yako utasikiliza lakini compared na hii lugha yako ya Kiswahili utafikia Tanzania Bongo Music huko utateka East Africa sababu East Africa mostly Kiswahili inatumika so yes, ndio watu uliona kwamba ukiangalia market penye imefika lazima ucheze Kiswahili vizuri kwa Bongo Music ndio yeah. and another thing ambayo pia inazidi kupea watu ni stress ya ku grow kutoka chini ndio unajua sasa ni challenges ni mingi bado kupata subscribers maybe youtube channel kupata views na mambo mingi maybe kipato inakupea na hizo vitu pia watu wanaangalia baadaye kwa muziki ndio hapo nakubali mm. lakini wasanii wanafaa waelewe kitu moja yeah. mziki mm. for the start mm-hmm. kama we ni upcoming mm. ama we ni mwanamuziki ambaye unaendelea mm. kitu moja naweza kuambia mziki wako unatembea mbali yeah hata kukuliko wewe mwenyewe. Mm-hmm. Mziki wako unasikizwa kwa watu ambao mpaka wewe mwenyewe hujaifika pale. Na pia okay, kama ni YouTube utaweka ngoma, mm-hmm. watakupatia pesa kulingana mm-hmm. na kiwango cha watu ambao wamtazama, ndio? No. Lakini kule nje mm-hmm. kuna wenye wajalipa na wamesikizewa ngoma na in dunda vizuri na wapeleka vizuri unaona lakini ile pesa ambayo walifaa kulipe mm. ni YouTube peke yake wamekupatia mm. so mziki wako unaenda mbali. Na mimi for now mm. nasema mziki ni wa masikio. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Muziki ni wa masikio, unaona? For now. For now I'm looking for popularity. Mm. Actually nikishajulikana zaidi mm. hapo saa at least mi kwanza muziki YouTube saa hii mm. wasanii hawezi pata pesa mingi na YouTube sana kama vile mashows zinalipa, unaona? Mm. Mimi saa hii naweza kosa kwa ngoma yangu YouTube mm. ni wakikuwe played on air kwa ma radio cha ni ma radio yeah. stations. Yeah. Ni itwe show nayo. Mm. Ndio inipatia kutoka kwa show mingi yeah. kuliko ambayo YouTube ingenipatia. Yeah. So mimi vile kila mtu anapiga sabi yake apige sabu lakini pia tusitegemee sana mtandao mm. kwa sababu mm-hmm. at, at some point mm-hmm. muziki yako inatembea mbali mm. na ingekuwa hata wale ambao wanaisikiza offline wangekuwa wanakulipa mm. basi ungekuwa unapata pesa mingi sana mm-hmm. yeah, so so yamaanisha kwa mambo na kupata kiela pia YouTube si ati umeiweka sana kama kipato kwa YouTube kwa ngoma zako. Yamaanisha kwamba pia umepiga uh, big chance ya kupata pesa zako kutoka kwa shows pamoja na hizi ma live session pamoja na pia ngoma yako kuchezwa nje kabla yako YouTube channel. Yamaanisha bado unapata kipato na hiyo style. Yeah, hiyo hiyo mm. ndio naona inanipeleka vizuri mm. na pia napata pesa vizuri kuliko ambavyo naweza tegemea tu YouTube. Ah. Yeah. Anam kitu kingine ambacho pia tunataka kuuliza. Najua msanii eh wewe ni msanii umebebea sana Bivon. Wataka kujua is Bivon single ama bado hakuna mtu. Ili sorry ninachanganya wasanii wengi hapa watu wengi. Actually ikifika ikifika ni mambo na relationship hapo mm-hmm. nakonga nimeweka private sana. Mm-hmm. Yeah because unapatanga sana watu wanakufollow sana mm-hmm. ikifika hiyo. Lakini mtu wako. Mtu wako naye <laughs> shemeji yenu wako. <laughs> Hapo siwezi kata. Eh. Hata sasa hivi nimetoka commit na hii eh. social media yenu. So watu wasikuje kusumbua waseme oh Bivon 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 amechukuliwa. Mnaona Bivon amechukuliwa na msijaribu kuenda pale mkisema ati oh Bivon Bivon. Naona wasanii wakianza kutoka chini najua kuna ile popularity. Obviously automatically najua utapata sasa hapo kuna wale watu walikuwa na kuona kama si mtu wameanza kuona kama mtu. Ndiyo, so Bivon amechukuliwa wale ambao wame waliulizia hiyo swali mmejibiwa. And of course naweza sema kazi yako ni safi na pia ningetaka uweze kuambia watu wa sasa kwa mitandao ya kijamii Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, WhatsApp maybe pamoja na YouTube kuna handles zako zinaitwa aje ndio watu wakufuatilie pale na pia wazidi kusubscribe na kusupport kwa talanta yako pamoja na muziki yako. Yes at uh, Facebook unanipata kama Bista 7KE official mm-hmm. Bista 7 yeah. B 
dot star dot seven dot ke official mm. utanipata pale facebook mm. ig uh, bado ni bista seven ke official yeah. kila pali hadi tiktok ni bista seven ke official mm. kila pali mm. ya yeah, kila pali ni msani maarufu sana kutoka eneo la kisi county ukipenda pia maeneo haya kiungwa swa swa huwa na make it sana kwa industry ya mimba ngoma mingi na sasa hivi tunataka twende kwanza aweze kutuchezea kiasi baadhi ya ngoma ambazo ameimba mtapenda sana. Huyu jamaa anafanya kazi safi, support him. Then pale katika mitandao yake ya kijamii muweze kumfuatilia zaidi. I mean my dark days I got a fight on my own fight and as I seek the light and as I seek my light life is a slow mo and i feel so down i'm so low and i can't take it no more i'm so down and i can't take it no more my mama tell me son make a prayer it is like a protective layer wow. chenye unaomba god atakupea create a bond with god make a prayer i'm going to roll on brighter days i'm going to roll on brighter days oh yeah Stress in my mind, struggle in my life is against me and I try to find my struggles in a fanya ni we blind na pressure za kubaki tu behind life in many forms i took for me lia matusi zenu mnazisikiza natulia wana mind about you bro me familia mashida zangu nakumbuka nina lia wana wake and chase the paper fake friends nike moka na wa hepa nilipo wahitaji wote wali hepa i dunia tuko sola kuna helper I want to run. Ah, wow, wow, Mazi, you see, Mazi, I want to run. 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 I kita turama kwa kiingereza yeah 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 mm-hmm. hebu nikumbuke mm-hmm. it will lick us <laughs> it will <laughs> it will lick us uh-huh. yeah itaturamba ku lick uh-huh. yeah itaturamba na malafu kuna kitu moja pia najua unaweza kuwa bado kwa Kisi county uh-huh. na bado kuna ile kitu ambayo naitwa wizi juu hata deputy governor wa Kisi county hebu tuambie mara moja sasa hivi deputy governor na isi mjui <laughs> <laughs> kwa sababu <laughs> naweza store reason uh, the reason is jakuwa kisi mosi mm-hmm. so vitu mingi zina happen lakini uko kisi lakini for now niko kisi so hiyo uh-huh. swali niweza nitatiza sana eh yeah. haya yeah. ah, ingine swali ya tatu ambayo ni swali pia muhimu sana unajua rais wa Kenya ndio majina yake manne tafadhali tukiandanga dr william samoe ruto hiyo ni tatu oh hiyo gina si jita bandani <laughs> Thank you so much guys manze huyu tumekuwa na msanii wetu Bivon ni msanii ambaye anafanya kazi safi katika ulingo wa muziki tafadhali endeni msupport pigeni subscription na utasema asante sana hapa ni ndani ya kibiba Afrika zidi kubanyeza alama nyekundu ya subscribe ndiposa tuzidi kwenda mbali <laughs> Sikini talento wezu kaficha Squeezy wanataka tuzi na picha 